In this video, we are going to go through how to run a Terraform script in Jenkins. Up until this point, you've been going in and pointing and clicking in consoles to create and manage your infrastructure. Starting next week, your team is transitioning to using Terraform to manage your infrastructure as code. However, you're not really sure yet how you're going to be able to run and manage those Terraform applies. In this video, we're going to look at one of the ways you can do that using Jenkins. Here's our starting point for today. We have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.289.3. When it was installed, it was installed using install suggested plugins. To this controller, we have an agent connected, and we also have a sample repository that has all of the code for today, so you'll be able to do this for yourself. As we go through this video today, realize this is a very simple, hello world type example. In real life, there will be things that you'll need to do, like setting up a remote state that is not covered in this video. To get started, we're actually not starting with Terraform. We're starting with an open source project called TF Switch. This project gives us the ability to install specific versions of Terraform when we need it. Even though you might be starting fresh right now and you have a single version of Terraform, that will probably change over time. And being able to simply define what version of Terraform you need when you need to use it will help you out over the long run. Now, if you've worked in the Java ecosystem at all, you've run into Maven and you've probably run into Gradle. And both of those projects have a concept of a Maven W file or a Gradle W file. And what I'm doing today, and this is included in that repository, is I'm creating a Terraform W file. This is a file that I created based on a file that TF Switch gives us through continuous integration. I took this file and I've made a few changes to it and we'll take a look at that right now. So let's go into our repository. And the link to this repository is down in the description. Let's click on Terraform W. And let's take a look at what's going on here. We can see that we're just installing TF Switch locally. So what happens when this script runs is it's first going to install TF Switch. And once we have TF Switch installed and on path, then we can run TF Switch to actually install Terraform. But you'll notice here, we're just saying TF Switch dash B custom bin Terraform. And what the dash B is, is that tells TF Switch where to install the Terraform binary. And the final line that we have here, Terraform star, is going to be whatever the commands are that we're passing into our Terraform W file. Now, all of this sounds a little weird. It'll become more clear in just a few moments. TF Switch leverages a lot of the files that are used normally with Terraform. And in fact, one of those is the version.tf file. So you can see we have a version TF file here. And what this says here is I want to use Terraform version 1.0.0. I don't want to use 101. I don't want to use 0.15. I want to use this specific version. There are other ways to pass in to TF Switch what version to install, but the way I like to use it is by using the version.tf method. Let's go take a look at our main TF. Again, remember I said this is a hello world? It doesn't get much more hello world than this. We're just going to do an output running Terraform from Jenkins. Basically, we're doing a print line or an echo hello world. That's what this is. So we're not going to be creating new infrastructure today. But if I know that everything works up to this point the way I expect it, when I put in my real main TF, I would expect it to work. Finally, let's go take a look at our Jenkins file. So when we take a look at the Jenkins file, we can see here that we're doing something pretty simple here. We'll come back and look at all the different things here in just a moment. We're saying agent label Linux. The agent that I have connected to my controller has a label of Linux, so that's where the work will happen. I'm cleaning my workspace up to begin with. Again, this is just an example. You might not want to clean up your workspace. I'm just doing this as I go through this. I had to specify a skip default checkout because I'm doing the clean workspace first. So since I'm specifying a skip default checkout, I also have to explicitly do a checkout. So it's sort of weird. I'm doing a clean workspace, a checkout, and then we get down here to the work that we're doing. What I'm saying here is I'm saying dot slash Terraform W apply. So if you've worked with Terraform at all, you know when you do a Terraform plan, am I going to get what I expect? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, then you would do a Terraform apply. Well, I'm assuming right now that I'm just doing a Terraform apply. And I'm also doing an auto approve. And finally, I'm turning off 
coloring because in the output of my build log, if I leave coloring on, I get lots of weird characters. And I don't want that. I just want a nice, clean output from a build log perspective. Now, if I was running this by hand, I would probably want the color left on. And then finally, I'm cleaning up my workspace at the end. So let's go set up our job. Let me go back over here to the top of the repository, grab my link. Let's go here to our job. We'll say new item. I'll say Terraform. Pipeline, okay. We'll go down here to SCM, get URL. We're building off of the main branch and Jenkins file is our script path. Let's go ahead and click on save. And finally, let's go ahead and click on build now. Okay, let's scroll back up and take a look at what happened here. We did our cleanup at the very beginning of our job. We do our checkout. And then let's get down here to our Terraform apply auto approve no color. So what happens here is it installs TF switch locally. So it downloads it, installs it to whatever the most current version is. In this case, it's 12, 11, 68. And then it read from the version file 100. So we switched Terraform to 100 and then changes to the output is this, and then we ran it to where the output is Jenkins underscore Terraform equals running Terraform from Jenkins. Although there are numerous ways you can centrally run a Terraform script, you might not have the time right now to evaluate those options. On the other hand, you've been using Jenkins for quite a while, so you could use Jenkins potentially as a stopgap method to buy you some time to look at other ways to run your Terraform scripts. In this example, we use TF switch to manage our Terraform installations. I built upon some of the documentation provided and created the Terraform W file so I could just run that whether I'm inside of an agent or I could run it locally on my machine. But you might not want to manage your Terraform binaries that way. You might want to manage your Terraform binaries on your agents using Ansible or Puppet or Chef or any other method to manage binaries installed on agents. You make the choice for how you want to manage your Terraform installation. But hopefully we can all agree what you don't want to do is to run Terraform locally on your machine with local state. Because when you try to work with a team, that's going to fall apart really fast. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBeesDevs. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.